All right, welcome back, Brush Monkeys. I am stupid excited for this project, and oddly enough, not because I'm a big Blood Bowl fan or because I'm a big football fan, but this is a project I'm doing for somebody else. Um, as such, these miniatures, um, first of all, this project is going to take a few months to do. Um, there's a lot involved in it. I'll be making videos of all of it, but the miniatures involved in this are not going to be put on the website like all the rest of them. This is going to be going to somebody else. This is a present for uh, my brother-in-law, actually. And um, before you ask, all the, the videos for this were recorded way in advance of his actual birthday. This is a birthday present. Um, so he's not going to see this until after None of this is being posted until after his birthday. So he, by the time you're seeing this, he will already have this in his hands. But um, like I said, this is not going to be posted on the website with all the rest of the figures that I normally make available to my Patreon supporters. Um, this is going to be uh, a separate project, but I will be posting videos about the whole thing. Um, I won't go into the, the conversation that led to <laughs> the decision to do this but uh long story short we're watching um a football game on tv over breakfast um i'm not a huge sports fan this was on at the restaurant we were at and um it turned into this you know how can you make this look like a, a game when you, all you have is a whole team of tanks and this started as to what football players were uh what rpg class and that kind of thing and i told sarah that that Games Workshop made a football game called Blood Bowl, where you're basically playing football with orcs and goblins and dwarves and elves and shit. And so she said we should get uh, an orc team and paint them up like Green Bay <laughs> Packers. Um, her brother lives in Wisconsin. Uh, her whole family are big Green Bay fans. So yeah, so we decided to go to get the box set, which is huge. It has orcs on a green sprue and it has humans on the blue sprue. And I'm going to paint the orcs as Green Bay Packers colors and the humans in Kansas City Chiefs colors because that's where we're from. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I've opened up the box. I kind of went through it a little bit just to see uh, the cards are still in their original wrap. The dice are still in there. I'm not going to need any of that. Uh, the bases, I've got something cool planned for the bases. Um, this thing I, I cut off. It's actually a marker for one of the it's a tracker thing for one of the um, players boards but I didn't like the fact that it just kind of sat there on its own so I got out some little bases for it I'm gonna glue those onto bases there's two for the humans and two for the orcs and then there's these other little counters on here that I'm gonna think of something to do um, if I can what I would what I would ideally like to do with these markers if I can grind down that emblem on there and file that off somehow and then put the Chiefs logo on one and the uh, Green Bay logo on the other that would be ideal but over the next few months I'm gonna walk through doing all these you know assembling all these figures and uh, painting them up and uh, hopefully this will be a really spiffy thing when I get it done so um, so yeah let's, let's get started <laughs> All right, welcome back, Brush Monkeys. Um, as you can see, I've taken the sprues out. I've got the orc sprues here. I've got the human sprues here. Um, I've got my clippers and my knife. And i uh, got all the bases I need. I think i got everything I need to do this. Um, oh, I've, got, I've got my glue, although some parts are not being glued just yet. I'm going to um, do these little fist icons first because they're pretty quick and dirty they're one piece and uh, just clip them off give them a little shot of glue glue them into the base um, I'm not gonna do all this on camera because it's gonna take way too long to do that and uh, some of the bases uh, need some preparation done on them because I don't know if you can see this or not there's a little divot in the middle of the base there um, I'm gonna take some liquid green stuff and try to fill that in because the plan I have for it uh, does not involve having that in the way. 
but for those of you who have assembled Citadel miniatures before, this is not all that unusual. You just clip the pieces off the sprue, like I'm doing there. And there's usually like a little flash mark right there, or sometimes it's a little lump if you don't cut it real flush. Just cut that off. Um, it's usually a good idea to go around the outside of it and see. Uh, usually there's a mold line. Um, sometimes there's not. Sometimes there's no mold line. This one's got a fairly prominent mold line. And give it a little glue. Stick it on the base. Put it aside. I should, uh, I was going to say, I should clean up pretty quick. realized I hadn't done the mold lines on the one that I already clipped off. There we go. Alright, so there's the human side. We're going to do the same thing for the orcs. Now on these, um, here again, I would like to file down that little orc icon right there and put a Green Bay emblem there. I'm gonna, gonna kind of play that by ear. Like if I can, I think I could probably do it. It's not gonna be that terribly difficult, but um, it is gonna be fidgety um, because they don't make transfer sheets for um, football teams um, I'm gonna have to freehand the uh, Green Bay and Chiefs icons on all these guys and my freehand is not really the best but we'll get to that when I when I do it I'll show you how to I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to freehand even though I'm not that great at it but um, it's one of those things that just takes practice I don't I don't practice freehand a lot, so I'm not great at it. But I know the theory behind it. And I know how to teach it. How to teach a theory. So that should be a little adventure. There's one. There's the next one. All right. So that's some progress. That's a good start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and put together the human teams. The, what are going to end up being the chiefs. These are, uh, they say they're press fit miniatures. I don't know that they're entirely press fit. I think you're going to need some glue and some, uh, uh, maybe some liquid green stuff to fill in some gaps that kind of thing but I don't think they don't appear to be the kind of figures that if you glue them together before you paint them that they're going to be a problem to paint so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the humans and then we'll come back and take a look at those and then I'll put the orcs together and we'll come back and take a look at those uh, so I will see you in a bit all right so I've got the uh, human side painted or not painted got them assembled and I've got uh, green stuff and all the little divots in their bases also green stuff the divots in the uh, orc bases as long as I had them out there so you can, you can kind of see where that's been in there and that'll smooth out the base for when I go to, to paint it it'll be a little bit better I have not yet taken my uh, Dremel tool to these discs and gotten them um, I want to I want to file that eagle off of there. I'll leave the blood bowl thing on the other side, but I want to file the eagle off that one side to make room for a chief's logo. And uh, same with the orcs, I'm going to file theirs off and make room for a uh, uh, Green Bay logo. Fortunately, the back of the gauntlet marker here um, for the humans doesn't have uh, 
doesn't have an eagle, so that shouldn't be too hard to, you know, freehand a chief's thing on there someplace. Probably that big plate at the bottom here. But that's the human team, and uh, next I'll get started on the orcs. So, yeah. See you in a bit. Alright, welcome back. As you can see, I've got the orcs painted, or the orcs <laughs> assembled. I'm still getting ahead of myself with this painting versus assembly thing. I've got the orcs all assembled for the Blood Bowl teams. These guys are going to be painted up as uh, Green Bay Packers. And uh, I've got... The Blood Bowl thing came with this, these little spare footballs that don't really have any kind of uh, uh, handle on them or base on them. They're just kind of supposed to be... I guess if you fumble, they're supposed to be laid out in the field, whereas the, the ones that... The player that actually has the ball will get one of these little ones with a peg on it. And the peg goes in a little hole like that, so they're, they've got the, the ball on their base like that. The problem with this is <clears throat> this little peg that comes on, on the football that they're supposed to hold gives you something to hold on to when you're painting it. I can stick that in there and paint that football, right? The, <laughs> these little footballs without the pegs don't do that. They're just kind of there by themselves. So I dug out some uh, 25 millimeter bases, which are just about the right size. Put that little guy on there like that. And I'm going to paint them up the same way as I do the rest of these bases. And give it its little astroturf and whatnot. And then I'm going to glue those footballs onto the base. And then I'm going to paint them. So they'll, they'll be sitting on the... They're not just going to be loose pieces. It's also less of a chance... If they're on a base, there's less of a chance of losing them. Um, in between games too so there's that um, and I've got the, those two footballs there I've got the two footballs for the um, human team as well had the same thing and uh, I've got the human team being primered right now um, it's going to take a couple of passes uh, like I said for doing this is going to be kind of a primer on how to paint units as opposed to individual characters with individual characters I would do the Zenithal priming and paint each one separately. With these guys, I'm gonna paint them all assembly line style. And so I'm not gonna bother with the Zenithal priming. I'm priming them with a uh, colored primer. The humans are getting uh, Mephiston red because the uh, um, the chief's main color is red. And then because Green Bay's primary color is green, of course, then uh, they're getting the, the orcs are gonna get the army painter um, angel green primer and that's you know I'm not just gonna paint them like that and you know prime them and leave them like that I'm actually gonna paint the figures but that'll give a good solid base to the reds and the greens in their uniforms and uh, and I think it'll make the the rest of the color show up really nicely I'm also gonna paint all the these guys are not glued to the base as you can see and neither are the humans and that's so um, when I get done priming the figures I could take these guys off and stick them to my normal sticky stuff to paint them because that slot of base really sticks in there really nicely. I don't know why Citadel did away with the slot of bases. I love these things. So they're going to be going in that, and then um, the base is getting a different paint job. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the bases, human and orc, in the angel green. And then I'm going to mask off a line across the front of it here and paint that white to uh, to represent a yard line. So they'll all look like they're standing right on the yard line, including the footballs will be on their yard line, which I think is going to look really nice. And then uh, outside of that yard line painting, I'm going to put down uh, essentially AstroTurf. It's, uh, I don't have it in front of me. I've got some uh, Army Painter green grass flock that's going to go on there and I think it's going to look really nice when it's done. Um, I, I might do a test base here in a future video because I think I'm, that's really going to, I think I'm really going to like how that looks. But, so that's what I've got going on now. The orcs are assembled, the humans are assembled and uh, they're starting to be primered and uh, once I get them primered then I'll put the orcs in the primer box, in the spray box and primer them and then we'll start painting some football. Alright, <laughs> thanks for joining us. I will see you later. Bye.
Hey Brush Monkeys, uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. Uh, if you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos are posted, click on subscribe. Leave a comment below on what you want to see on future videos. And um, be sure to visit our Patreon site, our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. Uh, the links are all in the video description below. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.